What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make your own dialogue system like in Girl Garden or Fish in your own Roblox game. And I've used this dialogue system in two different games that have combined to over 15 million visits. So if you wanna go check out those videos, the links will be in the description to my main channel. And in this video, I'm literally giving you the exact system I used. So starting off in a new Roblox game, all you have to do is come up to the toolbox and drag in this dialogue system that I made, which will be linked in the description that you guys can use. And once you guys click the link in the description, all you have to do is click get model. And then if you open the toolbox under my models, it'll be right here. Anyway, in the game now, now, under this folder, you have three more folders and then this script. And in this script, all it does is tell you to watch this tutorial, so you can just delete this. But for these folders, all you have to do is put it to where it tells you and then just ungroup it. So for this one, you put it in the workspace and then ungroup. This one, starter GUI, ungroup. And then this one, replicated storage and ungroup. And now it's pretty much set up. So if we go ahead and play the game, we can already talk to the NPC and it says, this is a test prompt. What do you want to do? Subscribe to SubDoggy, which you guys all should do but we wanna be able to customize this. So if we go under this model, we can go into this script right here. And this pretty much handles all the dialogue functions for this NPC. And all this stuff up here, you guys don't really have to worry about it because it's just getting the dialogue module and then this is stuff for the NPC. But right here is where it creates the dialogue object, which is what allows the NPC to talk. And right here, we can change the name of the NPC to something like friendly NPC, which doesn't really do anything, but it's kind of fun to do. So if we change this text right here, we can actually change what the NPC says whenever it first greets you. So we can just make it say, hello, how are you? And now in this table is where we can give the player options to respond with. So first, I'm gonna give the player the option to say, good. And then if we just copy this and add more items to this list, then we can make it say, bad. Or we can have another one and make it say, good. How are you? And if we want to change how the NPC responds, we have this function down here that runs whenever the player responds. And this function just gets the response number and the dialogue number. And the dialogue number is pretty much just what dialogue the player responded to. And right now we only have one because we only have one line like this. But if we wanted to add more, we can just copy this and then paste it right here. And then we can have a whole nother dialogue response. And the response number is pretty much just what response the player chooses. So in this first dialogue, we have three responses, good, bad, good, how are you? And to have the NPC respond to each of these, we're gonna make three if else statements for each response and then label these response number two and response number three. So for response number one, whenever the player says good, we want the NPC to say great, see you later. But if the player says bad, we can say dang, sorry to hear about that. And then if the player says good, how are you? Now we want the NPC to respond again. So instead of having this high GUI function right here, we want the player to go into another dialogue event. So down here, I'm gonna delete this high GUI. And up here, I'm gonna copy this trigger dialogue and paste it down here. And instead of having one, which will trigger the dialogue number one up here, I'm gonna change this to two, which will now make the NPC respond with whatever we put here and then allow the player to respond with these responses, just like above. So we can change this to whatever we want and we can make the NPC say, I've been good, thanks for asking. And then the player can respond with, no problem, bro. Or we can give them another response and just say, yep. And then I'm just gonna delete the last response. But right now, if we were to talk to the NPC, click the third response, and then the NPC would ask us this, but then if we respond, nothing will happen. And that's because we need to have something happen for the second dialogue event. So down here, I'm just gonna copy all of this code right here and then paste it right below. And instead of having dialogue number one, we're gonna change it to dialogue number two, which is responsible for the second dialogue option. And since we only have two responses down here, I'm gonna delete the third response. And now for the first response, whenever the player says, no problem, bro, I'm gonna make this response a little bit more advanced. So instead of just saying, great, see you later, I'm gonna make the NPC say great, but right after I'm gonna do comma true, which will mean that the NPC isn't done talking yet. And what this means is we can add another wait event right here, which will wait one second after the NPC starts talking. And then right after we can duplicate this again, paste it down here and then remove the true. And then we can finish off the NPC statement with thanks for asking. And now if we play the game and we talk to the NPC, click the third response and then click no problem, bro. He says, great. And then thanks for asking instead of just one line. And then we can also customize the yup to whenever the player responds for the NPC just to say dot, dot, dot. And now I kind of like how the NPC says, great. Thanks for asking right here. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to replace this statement with the same thing we did below. So I'm going to say, dang, Sorry to hear about that. And then if we play the game and then choose the second response, he says, dang, sorry to hear about that. And then another cool thing about this NPC system is whenever you respond, 
If you just walk away, it all goes away and nothing bugs out. But say we wanted something to happen after the player responds with good. Instead of the NPC just responding with great, see you later, we can change this to not anymore. And then after the NPC responds with not anymore, we can kill the player. So to do this, we can just go down here and then we get the player dot character dot humanoid dot health and then set it to zero. And this will pretty much just kill the player. So now if we run the game and we talk to the NPC, he says, hello, how are you? And we say good, he says not anymore, and then we die. But say we wanted to customize the NPC's name or maybe the font of the text. All you have to do is go into the head, go into the GUI, and then in this text, we can just change the name of the NPC and make it friendly NPC. And if we wanted to change any of these fonts, we can just select all of them and then just change it to whatever font we want. But uh, I'm just gonna stick with the one we have. But say you also wanted to change the font of the text that shows up right here. All you have to do is go down to this dialogue GUI and then open up these frames and go down to the template, which is the button that you click on. And then you can just click on this text, scroll down, and then change the font to whatever you want. Or you can change the background of it by changing this color and really customizing it however you want. And now if we go ahead and play the game, whenever we talk to the NPC, now our text looks a little different. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. And if you guys want more tutorials, I'm gonna be posting a lot more really soon. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss those. But anyway, thank you for watching.